Design methodology for quadcopter with coaxial propulsion units to achieve thrust and stability demand during flight. Katankuladur, Chengalpa to District, Tamil Nadu 603203, India. Abstract The usual quadcopter has only four rotors and it achieves its stability by nullifying the rotational moments produced by its corresponding rotors placed in the frame. The addition of coaxial propulsion units will lead to increase the thrust, better maneuverability, and supports to achieve stability in emergency situations. A quadcopter mounted coaxial propulsion units will have less redundancy when compared to the quadcopter having only four rotors, because the current requirement of eight brushless direct current motor, BLDC, is comparatively larger than the current requirement of four motors so that the flight time reduces for the quadcopter having coaxial propulsion units. The usage of all coaxial rotors produces lesser amount of thrust as compared to the thrust produced by only four rotors because in coaxial propulsion units the lower propeller loses thrust working in prop wash of upper propeller but this offers ability to provide significantly higher thrust for the platform in smaller volume. During emergency situations where the failure of motor occurs, in this case the presence of coaxial propulsion units will help to produce corresponding rotational moment that was produced by the motor which failed to work. In some case where all the four motors gets failed, the coaxial propulsion units can be used as a backup and the mission can be completed. Though the coaxial propulsion units has some drawbacks, it can be used with additional battery as power. Source in the quadcopter, not for continuous usage but can be used during demands. Keywords quadcopter, rotational moment, coaxial propulsion unit, Brushless direct current motor, propeller. I introduction the idea of coaxial rotors originates with Mikhail Lomonosov. He had developed a small helicopter model with coaxial rotors in July 1754 and demonstrated it to the Russian Academy of Sciences. In 1859, the British Patent Office awarded the first helicopter patent to Henry Bright for his coaxial design. From this point, Coaxial helicopters developed into fully operational machines as we know them today. Point two pioneering helicopters, the Corradino di Ascanio built D at 3 of 1930, and the generally more successful French mid 1930s Giroplane Laboratoire, both used coaxial rotor systems for flight. In the recent years, the technological and mechanical areas in the field of unmanned aerial vehicles were drastically developed. The drone technology is used in most of the civilian operations related to agriculture, border surveillance operations, inspection of critical areas rescue operations and in fire control. The propulsion systems of the drones is the most important component since it has higher power consumption. So that the propulsion systems must be efficient and appropriate to the mass of the drone to have long flight time. Additionally the propulsion units should produce higher thrust so that the thrust to weight ratio becomes significant to lift the payload. Propulsion units of the drone are responsible for its survivability, endurance and other parameters crucial for its mission operation. Reliability is the main requirement of the drone since the propulsion system failure inevitably leads to the drone loss. The propulsion system should allow also a convenient drone climbing to high flight altitudes without power loss. A necessity to meet these requirements, as well as the special needs of specific applications, result in numerous technological and scientific challenges. This imposes a need for intensive research on UAV propulsion, which is constantly progressing and expanding. 2. Literature Survey B. Wang's Hai Fei Ho Wan Sin Wang, 2015, one analyzed the hover duration performances of miniature VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, air vehicles depend on the performance of the propulsion system. Based on the mass models of battery, motor, and ESC, electronic speed controller, and the relationship between provided force and required power of propeller, the duration calculation model of vertical takeoff and landing air vehicles was established by using the battery constant current discharge model. The influence of propulsion parameters and payload on vehicle duration is analyzed, which would be used for preliminary design of VTOL air vehicles and components selection of propulsion systems. Wojciech Adam Bondira, Stanislaw Gardecki Pierzimus Lagagier, 2016, 2 proposed a contrast experimental analysis of different types of propulsion systems developed for multi-rotor UAVs. One of the most interesting designs is the so-called X-8 quadcopter, which extends original quad rotor concept to eight motors, arranged in four coaxial pairs. Loss of efficiency due to coaxial propellers. Configuration, because the lower propeller loses thrust working in prop wash of upper propeller. This paper presents the experimental verification of performance of such propulsion systems in practical terms of designing multi rotor platforms, compared to design with eight isolated propulsion units. In addition, its advantages versus classic quad rotor concept is shown. 
The series of experiments with different motors and sizes of propellers were conducted to estimate efficiency of coaxial propulsion regarding useful thrust generated by each configuration. Sun Hua Dai Quan Quan Jin Rui Ran Kai Yuan CAI, 2018, 3 proposed a practical method to help designers quickly select the optimal products of the propulsion system to maximize the multi-copter efficiency under the desired flight condition. First, the modeling methods for the components of the propulsion system are studied respectively to describe the optimization problem mathematically. Secondly, methods are proposed to find optimal motor and propeller combination with the maximum thrust efficiency according to the given design requirements. Finally, factors that may affect the hovering time of multi-copters are analyzed, and the optimal battery parameters are obtained for maximizing the multi-copter endurance. Experiments and simulations are performed to demonstrate the effectiveness and practicability of the proposed method. Wayne Ong Spots Regrarum Henrik Hesse, 2019, for Design Methodology for Multirotor Unmanned Aerial Vehicles, UAVs. To specifically address the design of vehicles with heavy lift capabilities, and have extended existing design methodologies to include coaxial rotor systems which have exhibited the best thrust to volume ratio for operation of UAVs in urban environments. Such coaxial systems, however, come with decreased aerodynamic efficiency and the design approach developed in this work can account for this. The proposed design methodology and included market studies have been demonstrated for the development of a multi-parcel delivery drone that can deliver up to four packages using a novel morphing concept. Flight test results in this paper serve to validate the predictions of thrust and battery life of the coaxial propulsion system suggesting errors in predicted flight time of less than 5%. Marcin Bychiski Rabia Sihab James Whitbourne Patrick Chi Kwong Luck, 2020, 5 described the need for sizing of rotors for multi-rotor vehicle applications such as personal air transport, delivery, surveillance, and photography. A methodology for the propeller and motor selection is developed and augmented with flight time estimation capabilities. Being multi-rotor specific it makes use of the platform simplicity to rapidly provide a set of off-the-shelf components ready to be used in the vehicle. Use of operating points makes the comparison process fast, precise, and tailored to specific applications. The method is easily implemented in software to provide an automated tool. Furthermore, clearly defined input and output parameters make it also usable as a module in other multi-criteria optimization algorithms. The new methodology is validated through comparison with a consumer-grade drone and the calculated results are compliant with manufacturers. Specification in terms of maximum hover time. 3. Construction The prefix quadcopter implies, quad equals 4, is a drone configuration where there are four arms. The main frame is made of carbon fiber due to its high strength to weight ratio, with each arm length of 230mm at each free end of the arm, a pair of coaxial motors will be fixed and propeller will be mechanically coupled to the motor. For all eight motors the output side of an ESC will be connected and the input side of the ESC will be connected to the flight controller. The other input of the ESC will be connected to the power distribution board where the power supply is provided by the LiPo battery. In a similar fashion all the other ESCs, motors, and propellers are connected. A receiver will be connected to the flight controller to receive signals from the transmitter. Dot the landing frame of height 140 mm is connected to the main frame such that there is enough space for payload attachment and the clearance for the propeller rotating downside. For working. The signals will be transmitted from transmitter and it will be received by the receiver in the drone. From the receiver the signal goes to the flight controller where the signal will be processed with accelerometer and gyroscope sensors. The processed signal will be sent to the ESC, which allows the specific amount to the motor based on the signal it receives. The propellers are mechanically coupled to the motors so that they rotate and produce thrust. The additional battery is mounted on the drone to provide power supply to the coaxial propulsion units. V components use CESC. A motor. The outer runner VLDC motors in which there are no brushes they have a permanent magnet. Absence of brushes reduces the friction and enhances the work output of the motor. This BLDC motors can be controlled by varying the input current. This motor P2208 KV1750 produces 19,425 maximum revolutions per minute, RPM, with 3's LiPo battery and it produces a maximum thrust of 1,457.83 grams with T5143S propeller. Figure 2 P2208 KV1750 BLDC motor. B propeller. The propeller has three blades with each blade of 5 inches length. It is made up of carbon fiber to have high strength to weight ratio and with features of lightweight, smoothness, high efficiency, fast response, and remarkable balance to the copter. It stands for electronic speed controller and it is used to vary the RPM of the motor. 
40A rated ESC is used as per the motor and battery specifications and this can handle up to 60A. Figure 4 ESC. D battery. A 3 LiPo battery of 10,000 mAh 25C current capacity and 11.1V is used to supply power to the motors at the top side of the frame and another 3 LiPo battery of 8,000 mAh 30C current capacity and 11.1V is used to supply power to the motors at downside, coaxial propulsion units. Dot the current capacity of battery to supply power to the motors at top side is higher than the current capacity of the battery to power the motors at the downside, because the motors at downside will not be continuously operated and it will be operated in an emergency situation, where the motors should respond quickly, so that the battery used has higher discharge rate of 30C. Figure 5 Battery to supply power for motors at the upper side. Figure 6 Battery to supply power for motors at the downside. E-flight controller and radio controllers. Any flight controller can be used but it has to be programmed in such a way that the usage of coaxial propulsion units are optional. The transmitter used, should have additional options to engage and disengage the coaxial propulsion units and the other options to operate a particular coaxial rotor in case of an emergency situation where one of the rotors is not working. Six weight build up continuously during hovering, because the additional thrust. Table I component weight data sheet. Parts weight, grams. BLDC motor, 8 nose, 308.8. ESC, 8 nose, 208. Propeller, 8 nose, 30.4. Battery, 4 top side rotors, 690. Battery, 4 down side rotors, 615. Receiver plus flight controller plus fastening components 100. Frame 300. Total 2251.14, approximate. The weight of the flight controller, receiver, and other fastening components were taken into approximation, since any kind of flight controller and receiver can be used in the drone. The overall weight of the drone is approximated as 2,251.4 grams. G thrust calculation. Thrust to weight ratio of the drone can be varied by engaging and disengaging the coaxial propulsion units. The additional rotors at the downside of the frame cannot be used continuously because the lower propeller loses thrust working in prop wash of the upper propeller, but this offers ability to provide significantly higher thrust for the platform in smaller volume. Thrust to weight ratio of the drone when only the rotors at the top side is used. Thrust produced with one motor and propeller combination equals 1457.32 grams. Total thrust produced at 100% RPM equals 1457.83 asterisk 4 equals 5831.32 grams. Thrust to weight ratio equals total thrust produced slash total. Weight of the drone equals 5831.22 slash 2251.14. Equals 2.50, 1. Total thrust produced at 100% RPM, 8 motors, equals 1457.83 asterisk 8 equals 11662.64 grams thrust to weight ratio equals 11662.64 slash 2251.14 equals 5.18 1 the thrust to weight ratio can be increased about 107.2 percent but the additional coaxial propulsion units cannot be used produced by them requires extra 17 to 29 percent power consumption to produce same amount of thrust as produced by the rotors at the top side dot so this decreases the redundancy of the drone Instead of continuous usage of the coaxial rotors at the downside it can be used as a backup during an emergency. H battery drain time calculation. For a safer side, the battery drain time has to be calculated by considering the distance to be covered hovering altitude and the time for the drone to return safely. Table 2 current requirement table. Components current required in. Amp. Motor, 4 nose, 124. ESC 0.4. Receiver 0.1. Flight controller 0.1. Total 124.6. A battery endurance for the battery that supply power to the motors on the top side. Current output of the battery equals 10,000 ma. Total current consumption of the components equals 124.6A. It includes current consumption of 4 motors for ESC receiver and flight controller. Battery endurance equals current output from battery slash total current consumption. Equals 10,000 slash 124.6 A equals 10 asterisk 60 slash 124.6 A equals 600 slash 124.6 A equals 4.81 minutes, at 100% throttle. B battery endurance for the battery that supply power to the motors at the downside. 
Current output of the battery equals 6200 ma. Total current consumption of the components equals 124.4 A, it includes current consumption of 4 motors for ESC. Battery endurance equals 8000 slash 124.4. Each motor at the downside requires about 17 to 29 percent more power to produce 5831.32 grams of thrust. The drone can be operated with only 4 rotors and it can have maximum endurance as 4.81 minutes after the battery drains the coaxial propulsion units can be engaged and it can have maximum endurance as 3.85 minutes. So the total endurance of the drone operated at this method can have endurance as 8.66 minutes at 100% RPM. 7. Stability Backup The presence of coaxial propulsion units helps with stability backup. When there is a failure of rotor during flight, the quadcopter loses its stability and then goes out of control. In this case where the quadcopter mounted coaxial propulsion units, the rotors can act as a backup to produce the corresponding rotational moment as produced by the rotor which was failed. Hence the moments were restored and the quadcopter will attain its stability. Figure 7 Quadcopter Configuration Labeled Rotors the configuration of the quadcopters with coaxial propulsion units appears as in FIG-7. If the rotor 2 labeled in the FIG-7 gets failed during flight, then the corresponding clockwise moment will be produced by the rotor labeled 6 in the FIG-7 will start rotate and bring the rotational moment of the quadcopter to equilibrium. 8. Structural description The main frame of the quadcopter is designed by determining the factors like propeller dimensions, clearance between two rotating propellers and the distance between coaxial propulsion units. Carbon fiber can be used to fabricate the frame, because of its high strength to weight ratio. The frame is designed in such a way that it can be assembled and disassembled easily. The CAD model of the quadcopter shown in Fig 8.is made using Kasha V5 software. 9. Conclusion This paper describes the advancement in the quadcopter configuration with coaxial propulsion units to produce additional thrust, provide stability, and better maneuverability during flight. This method of having additional rotors as a backup increases the endurance when rotors are separately powered by two batteries and the mission can be completed even with the failure of some rotors in the quadcopter.